We'll open, we'll open the regular monthly meeting to the DBA and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Did everyone have a chance to uh, review the minutes from uh, last November? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Ed wasn't involved with that, so uh, so he really doesn't have uh, a say so on that. <clears throat> I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes. No, for as, as reported. Okay, we're second and all in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. And uh, Ed is standing by. <laughs> the motion carries. <sighs> okay, there is no old business. Uh, the only correspondence that uh, we have received uh, is the uh, UDC response to this application for John Glover. I think I'll give you a copy there. And I mean, so, uh, I think I told it to you. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be a thing. Yeah. So they say they don't require project review, for this, no. which is a good thing. So right. Right. I think life easier for everybody. <clears throat> And down the new business is uh, the application of John Kleber uh, for a lot line adjustment. Uh, this was refu uh, referred to us by the planning board. Uh, the SBL is 23.12 and 23.13.3. Uh, representing uh, Mr. Kleber on this is uh, Grant Decker, which is Hi. this gentleman right here. Uh, and yep. uh, the floor is yours. Okay, uh, Mr. Glover asked me to do a lot improvement survey for him. He owns a, a piece on either side of Hankins Road down along the river. And uh, uh, the parcel that's uh, northerly that sits on the riverside uh, contains approximately five acres. And uh, the, the parcel, on the other side, on the Sully side, where his other residence is, contains about five acres. But uh, the Riverside parcel comes across the road, and he wants to try to distinguish, extinguish that line and use the road as a subdivision line. But when he does that, he doesn't conform with the lot area. So the parcel on the Riverside uh, becomes 3.5 acres instead of the required five acre minimum zoning. So we're looking we got turned down by the planning board, so we got we came to the ZBA to see if we can get a, a, a variance approval on that, so we can go back to the planning board and get approval on well, the you subdivision. You didn't get turned down by the planning board. They well, they have to refer it to us. Yeah, you have to get you have if if you don't comply with zoning, right? They have to reject. They have to well, right. they have to not approve it. Right. So then that they send it right. to the ZBA, right? right for um, but your referral was that they're in favor of. Okay. Yeah, I have the letter from them. It's right. yeah, they don't see any issues, but it's right. But they can't do nothing without this. Right. They've got a right. All right. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Yep. That's so it's it's really just a matter of making the property lines. Yeah, the road was easier to handle. Basically. Yeah, right. if this yeah. is a so instead of coming up here, right near his know. other dwelling, it's going right. to be the road. The road's right. going to be the property line. So this parcel would go with this house, and everything south or north of that would stay with the riverside lot. But it would be the acreage mm -hmm. would be uh different. Mm -hmm. So one parcel would get larger, one parcel would get smaller. Uh, which doesn't comply with the minimum lot size. Five acre minimum in that zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically, he just wants this making the road, the, the property line in that section 
for what reason? Just to make it uh, clean, this clean corner. Or? Yeah, this corner right here. To get it further away. From yeah, the yeah. This corner right here is right near his house. Right. And he just he's um he's got a driveway that comes near it, and he just he wants to be able to take this parcel and add it to the this house parcel right. and run the line down the road. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking ahead, if you guys don't mind. Ahead. I'm just thinking ahead to potentially what, you know, we have a public hearing. You know, last time we had a various application, I thought it was it was like easy and then it turned into a, you know, a, a, you know, quite a cause. So I don't know what the neighborhood's reaction will be once they get notice of the public hearing. But I think one of the questions that I'll get asked is why not just do it so that the two lots, one lot is all on one side of the of, of the road and the other lot, why have that peninsula that goes, I, I know oh, it's going to uh, connect to the river, but why not? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know why that, um, I don't, I don't know why that part of it, uh, maybe he wants some river frontage for the, the house part. Yeah, because you it's, know. I mean, you got that wet area pond, yes, it's, it's not like you got, it's easily not traversable usable plan, to get across, no. it's not usable, it's also yeah. not readily traversable to get to the river anyway. Right. Um, See, I'm just thinking because you got the, the criteria you got, is, you know, a couple of things that got to be, can, can they, can it be achieved by some method feasible for the applicant to pursue other than the variance? I don't know whether if you, if you, you certainly got enough land on, on this side of the road. You're still going to have more, even if you took yeah, that. Just, um, Are you going to, would you, how much? How, no, that's only a hundred by, it's only about a half an acre. A little bit more between so, a half an acre. So it'd, be it'd be a less. It's still a non-conforming lot, but it'd be right. less of a non-conforming right. lot if, right. if you did that. I'll ask him if uh, if he would. You know, I'll I'm ask not him. trying to throw him up, but I, you know, I'm yeah. just thinking ahead of yeah. what what could get thrown at, at you and us, right? You know, in response to that, because the other thing is the other thing is we're supposed to grant the uh, minimum variance, you know, possible, right? But, you know that would that you know it would be a lesser of a variance to allow, right? Yeah, that's good. Um, so we have to have a public hearing for we that. Have a public hearing on okay. Hearing. So then, uh, what I'll do is if we if if uh if everybody decides everything's feasible, um, and we schedule a public hearing, I'll talk to him next week and I'll let you know whether we should have the public hearing or whether I'm going to bring in revised maps. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to hold schedule the public hearing on right. that you decide to, right. to go right. to so the I'll, I'll call him tomorrow. But uh, and I'm not trying to talk him out of anything. I'm just... Yeah, I, don't, I, I You know, it's been going on since the uh, middle of last year. So right. I... Right. I, I uh, because even... And, because I'm, and I'm just thinking, because even if, even if he was concerned that he wanted to have the ability to get from here to the river, he could reserve an easement across of it. Right. Across it right. Plus, that is not a developable piece of land right. by anybody, right? right. I mean, the, the, the environmental constraints. It would be less non-conforming too. So and it would be less non-conforming, yeah. which make it right. easier to yeah. approve. That's, and that's that's the the focus there, you know. All right. <laughs> yeah. but, I mean, it makes yeah. you can understand why he wants to get that right. away from his house. Right. And and that's not developable by by the uh, the, the for, for use with the adjoining lot anyway no. because of the setbacks yeah. and everything else. Yeah, that's that's too small to. What's nice, yeah. What's nice is the adjoining lots are three acres, meaning the neighboring lots are. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't it well, kind yeah. of matches the neighborhood. It, it's it, not yeah, I mean, I think it'd be. I mean, somebody can always make an argument, but I think it's hard to say that whatever, you, however you reconfigure this, that it's going to have an impact on the uh, you know a negative impact on the community because you got two lots, you're going to end up with two lots. They're both already developed with existing single family homes. So, you know, as far as the outside world would be concerned, there's really nothing physically changing as a result of what they're proposing. It's just, you know, it, it just, it's all internal within the, the, the confines of, of, of this overall. Right. Yeah, I, I can talk to him within a day or two and let you guys know, you know, if I can, uh, if we schedule it, I'll bring you revised maps. and Because uh, uh, also, you know, uh, in, in looking at this and uh do we have to consider all the non-conformities well you know you know like yeah. if, if he did like what you said the, the only the only non-conform other and, and maybe you saw something Neil, that i did i just you know at quick glance the only potential non-conformity that could otherwise exist is maybe it, it maybe it's a little bit short of 50 feet from the corner of 
the dwelling on, on 23-1-2 to, to the to the, the perspective, road. you know, center line of the road. And, and I think you got to measure from the center line in before you start the 50 feet, whatever. But whatever it is, the distance between the, between this and that and that street is pre-existing, right? Right. I mean, right. you know, that, that's been yeah. there. Well, I mean, uh, on, 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 the, on the large lot, what I'm looking at is the river frontage. It's 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 way short on the river frontage. So we, do we have to reconsider that? Well, I don't think so, because that already exists. Right. That property line exists yeah. like that. That, right. that kind of alleyway is an existing thing. So they're not tinkering with that. But what, I mean, what we want to do is, get, is have this attached. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah my, right. my right. question is... Right. Right. Clean it up. Yeah. It's just make one lot yeah. all on one side of the road, so the other lot all on the other side of the road. Of, right. Make the guy instead of just that, you know, right. cutting this yeah. off. Of yeah. Yeah. There's, those Z the There's nobody working there anymore. <laughs> you also hey, poor Chris. Chris, Chris and, and whoever you get, whoever you get, this is the help. Yeah, yeah. Chris is amazing, man. Right. Yeah, absolutely. He's good guy. He's good guy. And then this is yeah. So that it's a little more telling. That both both lots are on. One side, each on one side of the roof. Right. Yeah, the, the, yeah, but I'm just yeah. That's what the, the reconfiguration would be. The, the the dividing line between the two parcels would be the center line of, 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 the, of the of the road from beginning to end. Right. So everything would be on one side for that parcel. And everything would be on one side. It makes it a lot cleaner. It makes sense. I mean, it's cleaner, but he may have some reason that's driving yeah, him to uh, hold on to that. I'm not looking to talk him out of it if he wants right. to take a run at it. I don't right. know that it right. failed through his application, but it makes it. Easier if we if we did not do that, All right? Well, it's certainly much more palatable to have this become four acres, yeah. you know, three and a half acres, turn into five acres. Right. right. Yeah. His own area. Yeah, it's <clears> not <throat> like they can well, block his view by building something over there. It's most of it's wet. Right. And as right. Ken said, if he wanted access to the river, since he owns both parcels, he can give himself easement. Yeah. Right. Perpetuity. And that yeah. could be knowing out the yeah, planning before he conveys that. Mm -hmm. Before he conveys that piece to the LLC, which I assume he also owns. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. You know, he conveys it subject to an easement right across it. Right. And, you know, he reserves his right. Yeah, he to seems it. like a very nice guy just from the conversation. I've never met him, but from the phone conversation. So I think he'd be agreeable with that. So. Famous last words. Yeah, you never <laughs> His perception may be, and maybe rightfully, I don't know, but you know that the, 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 there's more value in the lot if it has frontage on the river. Right. You know, but if it's got the if it's got the rights and the access that runs the river, it's, yeah. In in, in 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 a roundabout way, it's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. It, yeah. Especially since it's it's highly uh, unlikely that 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 section could be developed anyway. No, no. Yeah. Uh, so I maybe we could set up a public hearing and then I'll uh, I'll let you know what map we will bring if we could do that. Okay. Well, when we get to that part, yeah, okay. we can definitely do that. And does anybody have else have any questions on this? So I make a motion to uh, accept this application and and move forward on it. Does anybody want to second it? Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, everybody's on. I'm in favor of it, so the motion carries, so the application's been accepted. All right. Uh, to that, uh, Mr. Decker handed in a, a new proxy form and uh, the deeds of record for these two parcels. Anybody want to look at them? All right, so that they'll be submitted into the file. All right, moving on to the uh, the seeker. So Neil, on seeker, because this is a, because this is an area variance involving a single uh, property for with a single family, you know, a single family property. It's it's a type two action under seeker. Correct. So it doesn't, you know, it, you, you just have to recognize that it's a type two action right. and you satisfy your seeker. Correct. Issue Correct. Like that. So. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'll make a motion to uh, uh, on the secret re review is not necessary on this because of the type of action it is being a type two, and uh, it's a lot line adjustment that uh, falls on a uh, to list of type two action. Does anybody have any questions on that before uh, we move on that? Okay, anybody want to second it? 
I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the motion carries and uh, the seeker is no longer needs any further review since it's a type two action. Okay, so uh, you want to go to public hearing next one. Okay. Neil, do we need to send this to the county for 230? Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. That's the other but we question. should have a response by that. Yeah, if we need to do it. I yeah, mean, because it's, it's, I mean, 500 feet from a county or state highway, no, right? No. Borderline. 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 But is it within 500 feet of, of the municipal boundary, which would be the boundary actually between the state of New York right. and Pennsylvania? Yeah, yeah, right. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's probably why we right. have to do it 230. Right. Yeah. I don't know if, if it's in an ag district, that would be another reason to. I don't know what it is. No, that's Cedar River down there. I was going to say. <laughs> well, it's just, yeah, it's definitely within 500 feet of the boundary line right. of Pennsylvania and uh, yeah. New York. I don't know that it's exactly in the middle of the river, but I know it's out there somewhere. It's out there somewhere, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it to Grant to tell us where it is. because You know, the old days we used to guess. Now they have the electronic equipment. Yeah, yeah you can actually you can shoot, in, you can right shoot in, right? both banks in and then split it in the office. Yeah. So <laughs> so we actually get pretty close. Technology at its best, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing got cheaper, though, as the no, technology. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, this will be uh, put down for public hearing on uh, May 8th. Steel has done it. May 8th. Do I just have a 20th? Yeah, okay, yeah. Here, a couple more copies of the map in case you want to send some today. Do you have any more copies of the updated application? Uh, no, I I have. Uh, the last one I have is from November 30th. Is that the same one you have? Yeah, yeah it's probably the last one. <clears throat> yeah, whatever he submitted, that's what yeah. we have. Okay. And then I'll I'll drop off new maps if that's going to be the case, and uh, you know, sooner or later. Okay, yeah, so you right, correct. Uh, now, is this the same way with a planning board? Do we have to send out notices to the yeah, adjoiners? Right. You get, so. you get in touch with uh, Ken Bain, oh, right. and he'll give you the necessary uh, right. addresses and, and names to uh, send the uh, notices to. It all has to be uh, returned requests on the, right. on the uh, mailing, and you have to bring it here at the public hearing date. Okay. All right. Thank you, Neil. All right. He's got, I don't know if you've got a program or something that maps it all out for the footage is the way you know that's yeah, good this way you know you don't have too few you have the right amount right. I've seen ones where right. you show up with two cards and they go well geez you didn't do 500 feet or you that looks like you only did 200 feet now if I'm getting it from the town then I know I'm, I'm hitting the right people right you got somebody to blame <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. Okay, thank yep, you. Right. So, uh, and I'll send you a sample letter that you can fill in the information and send out. Okay. All right, that's good. Hey, does anybody have anything else? <laughs> Not I. Okay, so with that, we'll uh, um, uh, make a motion to uh, close the meeting. Anybody want to second it? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor, motion carries. The meeting is closed.